Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Brutus Runaroo Design Team layout. Today we are going to be playing with, I was looking for my <clears throat> embossing ink and I don't know. There it is. I didn't know where I put it. <laughs> So today we're going to be playing with the Sophisticated Spring 6x6 paper pad for the March release and look at how beautiful these plaids are. So I'm going to make an entire like block layout going on with this. Um, I'm going to do these two photos. These are some magnolias from Mount Vernon uh, where the first president of the United States is. It's his home. We're going to use some embossing powder in Raven to stamp out the the stamp set, these called Lovely Lilies stamp set. So I'm going to make most of my embellishments using this and then I'm going to color it in with some Chroma Glaze. So we've got coral, blue, green, and purple in the Coral Glaze. So even though these are lilies and these are magnolias, I'm okay because these are gorgeous flowers, right? So we're going to paint them. I'm going to use some watercolors and stuff, but I'm going to give each of the flowers textures with the Chroma Glaze. Chroma glaze. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp them, do the embossing and heat everything, and I will come back and show you a little bit more, and I'm going to do everything on a nice black background. So I want to come in here, and I am going to pick, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm using a, sorry about the noise. So we're going to get one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm actually going to pull one of each, um, kind of in the colors that go. So I'm going to go with the green, then we've got green and purple on that one. Is there any pink? Do you have any? I know I have pink somewhere. We'll just use that for the yellow. So yeah, we're just going to take that whole set of this paper pad and I'm going to cut those up into two by two squares. And we're going to get them layered all over the page. So I might actually end up pulling the yellow back. Not real sure at this point though. Maybe just stick into those first four colors because that looks a lot brighter now that I'm looking at it. But we'll see because they're flowers and they're fun. So give me a minute to get this cut, this stamped, and heat embossed, and we'll be right back. All right, so I've got everything stamped and embossed with the black, as you can see, and then I just did a very rough watercolor over it because I am going to fussy cut out. Here are some of the flowers that I did. And if you can see what I did with the chroma glaze, you see the texture that we've got going on. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So all these little embellishments that we're going to use to create the layout all have nice embellishments. So I've got a paintbrush. It's, you know, a little damp, not going to lie, because I've been using the same brush to get the same pattern, but it's kind of dry now. So I'm just taking it and I'm just dipping it right into the chroma glaze. And then I'm just pouncing right over it. So I'm kind of using it like a sponge. And it's thick in some areas, but that one was a little too thick. But then you can just pounce it right up. So just kind of dab it in. And I'm just making sure to get full coverage. And it doesn't matter that I've went outside the lines because, like I said, we're going to fussy cut this out. But it's just a different way to use your products and add some dimension and interest to normal stamped images. And each color will dry. It'll look just a tad different. 
because of the color underneath. And because it's not a very thick layer, this will not take long to dry at all. I did all my flowers first, and then I decided I, I would show you that this part instead of, you know, watching me switch colors. So you're really just going for the texture of it, and then it'll make it shiny pretty too. So yep, just pounce, 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 pounce. And then we'll let that dry. I'm going to start fussy cutting everything out so we'll come back when it's time to create the layout. But then you'll see you know how cool that is. Just a little bit of texture added there. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should do it this way. Huh? So you can see the texture that it's going to be on the leaves. All right. I'm going to let this all dry and we'll be right back. All right, so I am still just fussy cutting away over here. But I figured I'd pop in, give you guys a little update because it's getting quite late and I am going to be fussy cutting for quite some time. So um, basically what we're going to do is finish fussy cutting this out while I'm talking to you. But see how easy these, I'm not even doing it on screen, oh my lord. Um, see how easy these stamped images from Burtis Monroe are to cut out. So if you don't have the dies, I mean, obviously the dies make things way easier, but fussy cutting is kind of therapeutic. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more of this today. I do have quite a bit already cut out, but I've been kind of working on some other things. Um, and I had to let all of my chroma glaze dry, right? So this is going to be quite a bit. I just figured I'd pop in and give you an update here as my background. We've got all those fun pattern papers just kind of stuck in there, right? So I kind of kept them together in blocks just to pick up from the, um, oh, what's the word? So we're going to cut these into four by three. And we're going to come in. I'm going to so fun fact this is actually my husband was using the restroom and the restrooms are hidden in all of that so, like the actual restroom all right so I need to decide what I want one that's not already on the page, which is kind of hard because I'm pretty sure they're all already on the page. I think I used them all up. So, and I always want, because I tear all mini albums apart. So let's pull this one to go up there. And let's do one of these. To go down here just to put the contrasting colors is basically what I'm going for. I'll just get this kind of stuck in there. A little binder, clip it back together, holds all the scraps and everything. Works perfectly. So we're gonna map this photo on there. And we're gonna map this photo. On this one, and grab our little paper trimmer. We're gonna trim off, leaving a nice border. I like to leave a nice border. That one's gonna go down there, so the yellow will pop off the green, and the green will pop off the pink and the yellow. See. Okay. These pieces, 
Let's stay over here. All right, so this is going to go kind of like this, and we're going to build our floral clusters kind of in between them, I think, at this point is kind of what I'm going for. Um, and I'm probably going to pop the embellishments up on some uh, foam. So, so that's kind of my idea, right? And then come in with these. And I mean, look at how textured these are. Hope you can see that. Like they are so fun filling. But just kind of start tucking them in. And then we'll just kind of keep, you know, I'm going to build around. And I may not even pull in very many of the greens. Um, so, but that is just my original thought. So let me finish putting, fussy cutting and I'll be right back. So I've completed the layout. As you see, we've got the squares. They're two by two and I've just put them in a like colored pattern order. So we've got the pink and the orange into the yellow and the green into the blue and into the purple. Just for a fun rainbow effect on our background there. I did matte the two photos in. So I've got the yellow to pop off of the green and blue and purple down here. And I've got the green to pop off the pink and orange and yellow up here. Our beautiful flowers. Look at how fun that is. So remember, I just kind of did some watercoloring and then I took corresponding chroma glaze and dabbed it on with a paintbrush and the texture. I hope the camera is picking that up is really, really cool. And they're all very shiny. Then I just kind of went in and added the open 24 hours travel. I want to go see adventure, just a couple of chipboard hearts. And we call this layout. I mean, these flowers, you guys have got to pick this stamp set up because, yeah, I mean, I used them like this, you know, and tucked them all in for a floral cluster, but you could do the stems and the leaves and, you know, pop the flower on top of there or create beautiful clusters like this. I mean, can you imagine a card with just this floral cluster on there? That would be really gorgeous. So head on over to Bruce Monroe, check that out, see a... Uh, what else wonderful fabulous things they have for you get this paper pad it's thick beautiful luscious uh card stock so i do recommend that and that's going to do it for our layout today so don't forget to check out british monroe do all the fun youtube -y things like subscribe head on over to their facebook group and i will see you guys later with another video bye